everyone, so last week I showed you how to do the granny hexi and some of you were asking how you would do the half hexi for the edges, so I'm going to show you how to do those today. So the first thing you want to do is make your slip knot and you can do this any way that you prefer. Insert your hook and you want to start off by chaining just three, so one, two and three and then you're going to insert your hook into the first chain yarn over and pull through to make a circle we are then going to chain four so one two three four and we are going to insert our hook into the very center of this chain three that we did at the beginning so yarn over insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have a chain four and then a treble crochet. In the US this is known as a double crochet. So we're then going to do our cluster of three trebles. So we just need to do two more trebles now because we're not counting this very first one. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. One more, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's acting as our first cluster of three trebles, or doubles if you're in the US. So we're actually going to create just three clusters in this round with two chain fours to finish off the round. So that's our first cluster. We then want to chain one to bridge the gap between our next cluster and do another cluster of three trebles. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one and then do another cluster. Now at this point you might just want to um, grab the center circle and just pull the clusters round just to make space because we're only going to do it round half of this circle. So I've done my chain one and I'm going to do my another cluster of three trebles in that very same space. I'm then going to chain four, one, two, three, four, insert my hook into the center circle, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook, so it's a slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, grab your scissors and snip off and pull out the yarn, pull nice and tight. So that is the start of our half hexagon. We're then going to take the same colour and attach it to this very first side. So this is how I like to attach my yarn, you can do it however you like, but just make sure it's in that um, chain 4 space between the chain 4 and the 3 treble clusters. What we're then going to do is do just 2 trebles and then do our clusters as normal and then 2 trebles to finish. So you want to insert your hook and get ready to chain three. So one, two, three, that's going to class as our treble. And if don't forget, if you're in the US, that's a double. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's just going to class as um, our cluster of trebles. So we're only going to do two. We then want to chain one to bridge the gap between the next space and we're going to be working in this one here. And this is going to count as our peak or our corner. So you want to yarn over and do three trebles in there. So one, two, and three. And because it's our corner or our peak, you want to chain two and then do another cluster of three trebles in that very same space. So 
so that's one, two, and three. You want to chain one to bridge the gap because we're then going to work into this next space and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two for our first treble. You then want to do two more. So that's our second and our third. And again, this is going to be a corner. So you want to chain two and do another cluster of three trebles in that very same space. So that's one. and two and three we're then just going to chain one to bridge the gap and then we're going to do just two trebles in this last space here so yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two for one and then our last one and you want to sort of yarn over pull through so that you can snip off your yarn pull out the yarn and pull nice and tight so this is what it's looking like so far if you've used the same color you would then just attach the same color but I obviously use the silver so I'm going to attach my silver color now to this side of the work in this space just here between those two trebles so I'm going to take my silver coloured yarn and attach. So at this point you're obviously going to start attaching this colour to the rest of them if you're using the join as you go method which I showed in my last video. Now it's going to be different whether you are putting it on this piece here because there is nothing to attach it to or this piece here because we are going to attach it to first. So if you're not attaching it to anything first, so say for example this piece here, you can go ahead and just do this section as normal before you start to attach here. I'm going to show you this one here because you'll have to do something slightly different in order to start attaching it straight away. So if you weren't attaching it straight away, at this section here, you would just chain three to begin with. But because we are attaching it, I'm going to get you to just chain two. So one, two. And then you want to take your work and you are going to insert your hook into the corner of the other piece. So just insert your hook yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook to then attach and that just attaches that very first piece. You're then just going to do a treble into that same space so we have our chain and then our treble acting as two trebles. So that's literally just to attach those two. As I say if you weren't attaching this piece you would just do a chain three and a treble and then you would chain one to get to your next space. But because we are joining, you want to then insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, and pull through both loops on the hook to attach. And then you're going to do three trebles in this next section here. So we have one, two and three. You're then going to insert your hook into the next space on the other piece, yarn over and pull through and then we are going to work in the corner. So that's one, two, and three. So at this point if you was joining to the other side this is where you would start joining to your other piece. 
So now we want to insert our hook into the corner space here. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And then do another cluster of three trebles in that corner space. So that's one, two, three. Insert your hook into the next space. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And then do your three trebles into this space here. So that's one, two, three. Insert your hook into the next space. Yarn over, pull through, pull through both. And then your cluster of three trebles in the corner space. That's so one, two, three. Insert your hook into the corner space of your other hexagon. Yarn over, pull through, and then another three clusters, sorry, another three trebles in this corner space. Now, if you were attaching this side, you would obviously insert your hook into the corresponding space and yarn over, pull through. But because we're not attaching on this side, you're going to chain one to act as your bridge and then do another three trebles into this space here. So that's one, two, three. You're going to chain one and then in between these two trebles here you're just going to do another two trebles so yarn over insert your hook between those two and do one treble and another treble now at this point if you're happy to leave this um, just one solid color then you would just tie off your yarn here but I like to add a little bit more of the um, border colour to this very edge. So all that you do now is keeping it attached, turn it to one side. And you're going to insert your hook into the treble space here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that stitch is called a double in the UK and a single in the US. So I'll just do one double in that stitch. Then insert your hook into the treble space of the row, previous row. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again in that treble space. Moving on to the next row along, do another two doubles in that space. You then want to insert your hook into the very center and do one double in the very center. Two again in the next treble space. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Two in the next one. So insert yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then one in the very last one. So it will be the border colour here. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to yarn over and pull through again so that I can snip off my yarn, pull out the thread, and that makes the half hexagon shape. So as I said in my previous video, I quite like the fact that the um, ends are slightly um, jagged. 
um, you'll find that the very top and bottom of the work will still have like a bit of a curvature to it but again I find that quite nice um, but this just kind of fills in the edges of the blanket or if you're making a scarf so you could just do it one or two hexes wide um, and then fill in the edges so that you have a scarf shape and you will just keep continuing it with this down. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it answers those questions for those who are asking about the half hexi. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and make sure that you subscribe to watch more videos. Thank you, bye.